Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena Season 16, first matchup of Week 3. We are still undefeated. Last week I did have the foresight to document the results of the last round. So we won it pretty handily. My opponent couldn't clear my defense. He had some trouble up front here. Took two attempts up against Darth Revan on the back wall. He didn't have any trouble there, but I left it fairly weak. I, I knew he wasn't going to get through my defense. And then he couldn't even get through the top territory, which I left pretty soft. Uh, he had four attempts against Telzin, two against the heroes, and then four there against Mon Mothma. This week we are looking at Dude Brian. I have a pretty massive advantage here with him. Let me show you what kind of defense. He's in a good guild. His lifetime banner is respectable to the point where I know he participates in this event, which has been inconsistent throughout this season of Grand Arena. But then when it comes to gear, Zetas, Mods, just every single one is pretty heavily in my favor. And then the meta characters is, is uh, just another massive advantage where he does have SLKR, but he doesn't have relics on SLKR yet, so we'll be able to manage that if he threw him on defense. And then Darth Revan and Malak, no relics. Gas and JKL, no relics. And these other key characters, they're, most of them aren't really ready to go. His Padme is respectable. But he does have both ships. He did not have a Grand Arena history, so I did not plan my defense around his setup. So here's the opponent. I'll quickly show his roster, and then we'll break down his defense. So he's running... I don't know why he's doing that. He's running Darth Revan in in Arena, but even at gear 12, I would be running SLKR. I want this by gear tier. So here's his relics. They're most heavily the, the SLKR relics, but he has some decent relics outside of that. But primarily, it's SLKR relics. And then it's fairly shallow beyond that. A lot of gear 12 though, that's what's really hurting him and getting him matched up against me. If the, he had shifted to more of a gear 11 focus, he would be much more of a threat against his opponents. But you can see his gear 11 here is nothing. He pushes these characters up to gear 12 pretty quick and then it very quickly goes down to gear 9. Now, let's take a look at his defense and what I set down. All right, he's already well. Of course, he's already gone. This it's there's only a couple hours left in this event. The hunter marquee has already started, so I, I'm doing this a, a lot later than I usually do. Usually. Within a couple hours of the Grand Arena starting, I try to go, but I waited a day for, for this one. So two attempts up against Darth Revan, three up against Newt. Then this back wall he hasn't attempted. Top wall, let's see if he had any trouble here. No trouble here, but uh, this is one I kept soft. I expected my front bottom territory to cause him tr some trouble, and then fleet, I knew he wasn't gonna clear, or I expected him not to. He would have had to have kept both his Malevolence and Negotiator to have cleared mine, and most people don't do that. Most people split them up. 
At least at my GP level. I know higher GP levels do what I'm currently doing. Now his defense here. Let's take a look at the bottom first. Respectable, but we know how to handle all that. Well, this top territory. It looks like he went fairly heavy on uh, on with his defense. His SLKR, I assume he saved for offense, but with his defense here, losing his Darth Revan and his JKR and his Grievous, he gets shallow pretty quick. And then he, uh, he put a bunch of his relics down with Pelp and the, with Crew and Kylo. They're all good teams. We got to be careful with them. We're just going to start clearing this bottom. I timed my JML leveling and progress to be after the sign up. So I had taken everyone up to gear 13 before the sign up, but I left them all at Relic Zero, signed up, and then started bringing them up because you'll see my JTR. And my R2 are both relics. Are about, right now I'm in the middle of getting JML. I'm going to try and have JML by the next round. But let's see how. Let's do JKR here. Because what I really want is a good counter up against crew. That doesn't require something all that strong, which would be JTR under n normal circumstances, but that's not going to be the case today. All right, we'll take that. Then after this, we'll take a look at. Well, I won't do this on the vi on the video, but we'll take a look at the Hunter Marquee event, and then I will put out a video looking at the next. Um, the next uh, kit reveal, which should be sometime today if it hasn't already happened. I'm always tempted to just go right at Grievous, but B2 is annoying enough where we'll just take him out. I also owe all of you a list video that I've been working on, which has taken me a little bit longer just because my workload has been heavier this week than I was expecting. And I've made the video bigger than what I was originally intending. But I should have it out soon. All right, let's take out B2. Brought the stacks down. We'll hold on to the force. Of the, we won't do battle meditation. We'll get the protection back up higher. Leave Jolie alone. I either need to add a relic level to Jolie or look at his mods because he is not tough enough. But I will be having JKR up to Relic soon, because I'm going to need him for the Master Luke team. I haven't really felt like it's been necessary up to this point. Alright, 
Let's take a stack down. Let's see if we can help out Joe Leaves protection a little bit. All right, that's the end. Nice, okay. Two protection banners is plenty. Jedi Knight Luke, because if we do have to go up against SLKR, Gas is going to be part of that team. The other options for a crew counter, I just don't have strong enough. What did I do last time after I attempted JK, JTR? I don't remember how I cleaned that up. Now up against Pelp here. I'm trying to find that sweet spot where I don't have to use something too good. But I'm also not using something too bad because we are flirting with a very nice finish this season. I want to keep it going. I think we're just going to use JKL. Oh wait, 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 Look, we gotta think about this, because I do have Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Revan in the other territory here. And I'm not gonna have a lot of options against these guys either. can't do my wampa thing up against Newt because Nest messes that up. We don't need to worry about Bastila. Alright, I'm good. I'm going to have to plan this out. I'm gonna, I need to think about this. You know what would make my life a lot easier right now is if I didn't u just use JKR up against Grievous. I could have taken anybody else up against Grievous. I could have taken clones up against Grievous, or Shock T and clones against Grievous. Like, there were options against Grievous. That would have freed up my JKR up against Crew or Palpatine. That would all be a lot easier. I took a look at what I did before when I used JTR, and my JTR is not strong enough to take out a Relic 7 Crew and Kylo. I cleaned it up with Bounty Hunters. But it was still pretty close because my bounty hunters are like gear 11 and gear 12. I don't think they're going to be able to take out a full power crew Kylo first order officer. Like they worked as a cleanup. And they barely worked as a cleanup. So I think a full set of three in 3v3, they're going to win, especially because Officer is going to be able to speed up one of them. And then Pelp here. We have more options against. I think it's safe to assume his SLKR was on offense, because I don't see how he's clearing my Darth Revan without gas without his Darth Revan really leaves him his SLKR or something so I just really don't want to I don't really have a lot of other options against his Darth Revan so I think here I expect his back wall to be fairly weak If we do something like a 
This is more than I want to do, but I think that should clear his Palpatine without using up anything better. We're not going to do this, obviously, up against Kylo. I'm almost thinking about we just burn two teams up against the Kylos. We're not going to land enough debuffs to take a turn. So we'll just do this. Yes, we would have. I'm going to leave the ability block on. We'll throw it next time. I guess I probably would have taken her out. We're misplaying this badly. Yeah, we, we've done this really dumbly. I should have done that saber throw. There's, I mean, you know what I should have done. This is one of those days where I'm overthinking everything. Clones here. We'll do, that. we'll do clones. I don't like it. So at least we get tenacity up. I'm just a sacrifice would mess things up. Rex will get enough turns to take out Malik. So the advantage. It was almost a sacrifice. I don't want the sacrifice yet. a sacrifice. I don't think that's enough yet. We're going to be under fear. We need it now.
All right. This all boils down to that grievous decision. And also my refusal to use Jedi Knight Luke right now. There's ways to clean up Malik. Now, I don't care too much about that. But taking out Kylo right now without using a good team. We're also 20 minutes into this, which is just dumb. I haven't even cleared this first territory. You know what? Screw it. Let's let's just let's see if we get lucky with bounty hunters. This isn't gonna work. I almost feel like we purposely used two teams up against this thing. Because we at least know we'll take out... We're not using C-3PO. Like we're going to get a full clear. It's just a matter of... Not using a good team yet. We'll take up, I'll take out officer. We'll have the bounty hunters clean this up. Next round we'll just be able to take JTR up against this team and not have to think about it anymore. Because at the levels we have JTR right now, she just can't do enough damage to take this team out. And although I was tempted to use Bounty Hunters and see if we would get lucky, if we, if we didn't get lucky, then we would have been forced into a situation where we're using Gas or JKL up against this team. At which point, that makes the, uh, the top territory a problem where then what am I doing to clear that JKR and that Darth Revan with what I have? We probably would have been forced into this situation with this crew team, regardless. But we would have been able to clear Palp with JKR. Where we could have cleared this team with JKR. All right, we'll clean this up with bounty hunters. Just 
get that taunt up. Get some deep buffs. And now we can do this nice big hit here. be the contract Mando you see how quickly Kylo can get through Mando let's do that and why I didn't want to use them to begin with because I'm I may lose Mando right here yeah to bring another team in here. Stun him, please. Okay. Alright. I love Relic Django so much. Okay, that's worked out the way I thought that part would. It's just... This keeps going back to Grievous. That was a bad decision against Grievous. No, I haven't cleaned up. I haven't cleaned up a Malik in a while, and there's options here. I just can't recall what I've done in the past. Kylos would be great right here. some turn meter removal I need a few other things let's just do trail I don't want to think about this there's a chance geos are on the back wall feel myself regretting this decision. I know Geos are on that back wall.
I mean, the thing is, we can do something dumb like this up against not Elder. Like, this is only a gear 12 Malik. I'm just gonna throw in like Wampa. to Wampa right now if that doesn't work because both these guys will strip turn meter and we can prevent Malak from ever going other than the bonus turns we're not gonna do that we'll come up with something against Geo's if it happens we know he at least doesn't have did I close that down he doesn't have good geos. I don't like it. very much looking forward to next week where I have a crew Kylo solution that doesn't require two teams. I also should probably could have just accepted that reality sooner instead of debating with myself for way too long. Okay. All right, let's look at this back wall and see the geos that I have to deal with. Telzine. Relic Daka, Ventress, both things. Easy stuff. All right. Okay. We'll clear out that top territory. We'll clear out these other ones quickly. We've got more than enough now to just smash this stuff. try and make up some time here all those internal deliberations just ate up a bunch of clock
I need a coffee. What's going on? Alright, that means here we'll probably take gas. There's not really a better option. We will take Ahsoka. I don't want to do it. I kind of like to give one of those to Shock T. But I need the bodies to take marked. Dispel. Sure wish I had gas or Django for this team. We still got Deathmark, we got stuff. So Telzine or that Newt team is probably the toughest team left. Basila team doesn't really have any damage. They're just going to take a lot of time. Newt will be annoying with Nest. Let's see here. Oh, we got hooks.
Why does that happen? Troopers against one of these. Something off Gideon's not really going to help us. We do have Piet. It's annoying me how this is turning into one of my longer videos. That's why I like to have those Grand Arena histories so I can plan these things out ahead of time. Alright, I'm going to take a minute, get a coffee, and plan this out so I stop eating up clock. Alright, we got ourselves a plan. It's all predicated on CLS Chupio taking out Nest. Han is really the problem against Nest here because of the turn meter removal. Luke has some, but I think if we just do a little bit of this, this should be enough. But the way today is going, I feel like I'm missing something. Take out Newt first. We can at least get some stacks of damage going on on Chupio. Newt. We're just ex ignoring the extortion. We're gonna just put more confusion on Nest. Does this dispel? Okay. Burn through Django. Let's do let's do this hit. Does this do enough damage? the extortion now. We might try Mando or something up against Bastila there. Not Mando, the, the squad Mandalorians. Now, this back wall here, we're gonna bring Wampa. B2 for little dispel, and we are gonna bring in Watt for the weapons tech so that we can cancel out the revives.
And we got a little bit of healing. Let's take out Talzin right now. Not the way I wanted Daka to die, but fine. calling for Han here. We are sticking with the plan. This is... It's either this team or Ventress is the next toughest. Let me take a look at that Ventress again. The Bosk team is really not good. I think we're taking Han and Chewie here. And we'll bring in an AoE. No. Rolo has an AoE too. Dispel, throw a stun on Acolyte, or just take her out, take out Ventress, get that other sacrifice gone. Next Dispel will do it. Cooldown on Rolo's AoE is ridiculous. We gotta get like the right timing. Good enough. Bosk here is the next toughest, but not really, it's just his leadership is going to be the most annoying. And I was thinking Hux here. This is what I was thinking. we get a nice boost in damage from Hux's uh, leadership. And the rest of these bounty hunters aren't, shouldn't be a concern. A 
taunt would be really nice though. Not happy about that. Let's take him out. Let's not mess around with that. Not as clean as I was hoping, but that was good enough. See, like, this is the difference a plan makes. It's also, I'm just still very surprised by the single decision of using my JKR up against Grievous and the cascading impact of that decision. It's a very bad choice. Alright, this Boba Fett team is not a problem. So, the plan I laid out, I was going to use Bastila up against a team, I was going to use Mando up against another. My only concern with Mando up against Bastila is they do so little damage, this could be a timeout. We still have Piet. We could do some fun stuff with... We'll do that against Boba Fett. Boba Fett is, is with some weak bounty hunters here. Oh, what's your leadership? Offense potency. I don't think I've ever done P at lead. Let's do this. I just wanted a little bit more damage than using a different leader, and this way I can bring in somebody else because. Stormtrooper is who I want taking the failure. That I'm not happy about. That was a dumb decision. No AoEs. That is bad. Alright, just take out Cad Bane. Perfect, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Just take him out. Counter, perfect. This is sloppy. That's bad. Oh god. Yeah. I shouldn't have brought in Death Trooper. Veers would have been better. We'll clean that up with whatever. I just. I just saw that, and I wanted it. I 
I shouldn't do this right now because there's a good chance this is a timeout and not a win. But I want to keep testing this team. Just getting through this protection up is going to be annoying. And once we get this team set up, we are definitely going to be uh, autoing. We got our taunt, we're gonna have our assist going. Did you just, oh my God, you just wasted that stuff, Beskar. All right, we are getting off the auto. Because the AI is stupid. We need to take control for a moment. Put this on Beskar. through Bastila. God, this damage is pathetic. <laughs> okay, we, well, all those armor shreds are starting to add up. The dispel from Ahsoka is limiting some of the effectiveness here. Because that taunt isn't doing as much. We're almost through Basila's protection up. There it goes. get so many armor shreds in order to do enough. Fun, I just wish it was a threat. Is that out of focus? We're like ten ten minutes longer than we should be at this point. 
We should already be onto the new account. Clean this up. Nest is just a tiny bit tempting, but the stealth that will slow that down too much. Can we just do like, it's just too many people. I don't know why I'm overthinking a cleanup battle right now with Dengar. I gotta go unlock Hunter. This battle's costing me my top 100 finish. We're gonna have to mirror this. That's still Biggs, right? My... Don't do that. Leave it alone. Perfect.
been sitting here too long. Give me a target lock. No. Give me a target lock. That's a guaranteed target lock. Yeah. Is his gear and all this stuff better than mine? Seriously? and set this up all right we are back with the new account we're not going to review the last round I didn't take footage on that one it was I don't even remember if they attacked it was a pretty decisive win let's take a look at this one we've got about 50 minutes until the end of this round of Grand Arena. Let's quickly take a look at what he did down here. Attempted the Geos. No success. He took one shot against Telzin here. And then Fleet. It looks like this isn't a good ship, so... Okay, he didn't even attempt. That tells me that his he hasn't farmed enough ships to really set two teams. And we he also has Ezra lead, which tells me he doesn't understand leaderships. We'll do this one to start. We can we're gonna try and wrap this up quick. That's an Omega ability. It 
just think of the stun. So all these abilities I don't have access to right now. Okay. Don't like. Ah, oh, come on. Leia, you are doing way too much damage. This is unacceptable. Alright. We can at least take out our two. That's a good layer. On to this. There's no leadership there. Do something like that. We're not going to use any of these guys. We got that leadership. Going to add some defense and some turn meter as soon as we get a taunt up. And we can daze her so she won't keep attacking. Chopper. Okay. That might be too much. Maybe we want to split these guys up. Yeah, let's do let's do this. Let's try and land an ability block here. Shock on Zeb. Weird choices here. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll do that. Dispel? No, I didn't get my dispel. I 
I need to be careful not to lose Piet. One of the concerns with making this new account was was all the depth I was building up and not focusing on singular teams and how that would affect Grand Arena to start. And so far, things have been working out fantastic. Mm, I should have checked if there was Zetas here to begin with. I just saw the Ezra lead and I didn't really care, but this would have been a better place to bring Palpatine up against. This might take two teams. Let's try this to start. And this almost assuredly will be taking two teams. tap yet oh I don't like this give me the contract Don't die, don't die. Stay alive, come on, come on, come on. Okay, it doesn't matter. Cause it's not like I get... Oh, I guess I got Bounty Hunter's Resolve back on Boba. Okay, let's do this. Just take Farm Boy out at a minimum would make my life so much easier. Perfect. Now if we can take out Kanan. We'll save that. We're not doing enough damage. He's recovering. It's all the, those debuffs. We gotta focus on Ezra then. have to bring in a second team. I think with the debuffs we have, we're not going to get through. Come on, that's going to dodge, right? Yeah, that's an Omega. Considering the disadvantage we had in this matchup, I'm happy with it. We just got to bring in somebody who doesn't land debuffs.
Can you just take them out so I don't have to keep watching this? It's been a, a solid performance from these guys. Actually, oh, those ship omegas are nice though. Now, who do we want? Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Got a lot of debuffs here. feel like they're not gonna do enough damage the gears not high enough ooh Ewoks 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 Perfect. Okay, let's clean this up with ships. I can't believe how long this video is. We'll smash this, so this isn't a concern. Did you guys stop dodging? Ok, 
Okay. That's a win. Probably should have checked feats on both of these things now that I think about it. Looks like we got plenty of time on all those. You can see how nicely I'm doing. Number seven, I don't think, or some people shifted to the next tier. Yeah, some people in the next tier. All right, so that's not as meaningful. Um, I'm gonna focus on the squad arena one and get into that next tier. But it's going well. Sorry that took so long. Just being very indecisive in that one, just the, just the cascading impact of that one decision to start this match. It's kind of forced me into difficult choices from there on out. But thank you for watching. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent, be excellent to each other.